and the kittens love clean water. Vegetarian cat on his pellets. I just fold that water bowl up for them. They just love it. It's actually from a water system that I've got here. And it's a water purification system. And that was something that I actually imported a couple of years ago. I actually imported some of those water systems. It's in here. Ach, I'm just going to open up like that. Just so you peek in there. And there it is. There is the water system. So, I've got some of those systems around. And I have changed this one probably three times already in the last few years. Having absolutely clean water is a very essential thing if you want to well, keep healthy and raise a lot of animals hassle free so a lot of people asking me what do you do for a living and what have you been doing all this time just close up here <laughs> and it's it's a very complicated question it's not what I do for a living it's what I did for a living and if I say that, it means that you've got your whole life to prepare for a time when you will, I can almost call it retire. It's not really retiring. I think there's very few people in the world that actually retires. I think it's more about preparing your life for what will come. And you've got time to do it. When you're young, you are able to make the right decisions and do the right things that will prepare you for what is to come. So, when they ask me that question, I don't know how to answer it. When they ask me, what do you do for a living? I don't really do much for a living anymore. I have done a lot of things and it's all helping me all this time. These cats are just following me around. <laughs> Diego! So, you need an example just to get an idea. Well, Let's, let's take a walk around this house and I'll tell you what every room, or well, it's going to be a long video if I, if I have to tell you what every room is going to tell me. But yeah, these tiles, let's look at them. This is a one meter by one meter porcelain tile. That was a product that I bought and I brought it into the country and I sold some of it. Now if I say some of it, it means I still got some left. Let me show you there. There I've got some left. I still have to put it in the house. So, it is a product that I wanted, I needed. And instead of buying one, I bought a whole container load. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And the size just made sense for me to buy it. And I did. And I'm very glad I did. And it lasts many, many years. So all around this house, I haven't done all of it, but most of it, you'll see these tiles. That's a meter by a meter. And it's easy to measure an animal with when they're lying on top of it. So... Yeah, that is one of the products that I imported from, mostly from China. And yeah, then also these ceilings that you see right here. These ceiling boards, those LED lights. I think I was the first person in the country to actually import these LED lights. And... This has been in for a while, for quite a long time. And look at the brand. Okay, those are a little dirty, but.
but the brand is my name. It's Jameson. So, just look at that. That little dirty. I'm going to prepare you for it. Don't know where that came from, but hmm, I have to really maybe clean my ceiling. <laughs> so, I actually bought a lot of stuff from a lot of places in the world and it is just things that you don't find anywhere like these nights I actually bought this in India from a friend of mine who he became my friend I've never met him in my life but I know him so well so there was a company that was going to import this they placed an order and they couldn't afford it eventually and then I was looking for one of these nights and it was something that you couldn't find and I found them and I took that whole container load and it was sent to South Africa unpacked and I love it so there's some of it standing around there as well in the corner a little rusted they take quite a long time to get that antique look. So, uh, these are plans for the Spitfires. Some steering system there for the Spitfires. <laughs> I've got a lot of interesting things in this house. It's like a little museum. And everything tells a story. It's not necessarily... Let's just see. There's the cat fight again. So... There's so many things around this house that I am familiar with that I have spent years and years on learning, building relationships with people from all over. And I've had great relationships with people from all over the world. And I think they actually gave me a lot of trust. That's mostly what I gained from all of this. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to compare it to anything else, but I've had a lot of people that gained or gave me a lot of trust. And that is amazing. This plastic synthetic lawn outside, that is a product that I've imported as well. And I actually helped the guy there to start his company. And we've got so much trust between us. I don't even know how to explain it. I can give you an example, but I don't think I should go that way right now. I will tell you the story sooner or later about this synthetic lawn. And out of all of this, most valuable part that I can tell you is the trust that I've gained. This glass, this round curved glass with those brackets and everything, I imported it from, mostly from the east and people, we had, we had a great relationship between me and all those people. Uh, they're still my friends. Everyone. I remember once. I wanted to have my own brand of cell phone. A mobile phone. Why not? A Jameson. That would be the brand name. Because that's my surname. And I decided. Let me find people all over the world. That manufacture this stuff. They can do that. I just want to put my brand on something that's good. We'll test it out. We'll find out what is it like. And if it's good, we can maybe do business. And I actually had a girl from China that had a problem with the stuff that she was selling. She was going to get fired if she didn't make certain um, sales. And I didn't know her, but she told me this. And I said, well, then let me buy something from you. 
it wasn't a lot. It was a couple of mm, maybe three, four thousand dollars worth worth of stuff. But now if I say stuff, you know what? I should still have it in the cupboards. Because I'm not someone who tampers with things. So my stuff is still in there. I'm going to open up these cupboards and let's see what's in there. I should have put my light on on the phone. But let's see. If I open up these cupboards. That is still one of the things that I bought from her. A digital photo frame. So there it is. Sunglasses with the MP3 players in it. There I've got about 20 of them. There's another digital photo frame. Now, look at the dust. This comes from about 2006, 2005. I still remember this mobile phone. This is one they sent me. I actually went and tried to get type approval on this to be able to sell it in South Africa. And there wasn't enough paperwork. Just look at it. There's a brand new phone. Now, look at the phone. This is... Let's see how long ago it was. There should be... No, oh, well, there's nothing on here now. But... Everywhere in this house is things from my past. And it's great. Those are all... These are... Look at the dust on there. <laughs> These are GPS systems. Before people knew about GPSs. <laughs> well, I guess they were. They've been out a long time. But now there is a newer model one that I bought the other day. Just for myself. But look at this place. It's a lot of stuff. These parts. But this, this is parts to do the repairs on my own mobile phones. <laughs> Look at this. This is a watch phone. It's a, still got the sticker on it. It's brand new. It just probably broke or was something wrong with it before we even started. And Bots lying around. All kinds of things. I was actually sitting here doing the repairs on the mobile phones, changing screens, touch pads, all kinds of little things that went wrong. We had probably about two or three a day that came in and I had to do the repairs. Someone had to do it and I did it. I did it myself, why not? It's my brain. Probably the only these cables and stuff stuff from back then. So to get it cast off, that is our independent communication authority here in South Africa. They need to approve any mobile phone before you're allowed to sell it here in South Africa. So let me just switch on the light. Oh it is on. <laughs> these cats are checking out this cupboard, they can't believe it. It's open. They've seen it so many times and they didn't know it could it could go open. So yeah. These remote extenders. I imported this. I got Ikasa type approval on even on this, because anything that transmits needs approval. They want to know that you've got the EMC, the radio frequency, and the safety tests done. But to get those tests done is expensive and no one in South Africa was able to do it so I submitted some of these phones to some of our testing stations here and two months later they told me sorry sir we would like to pay you back your money we are not able to do these tests it has never been done in South Africa very disappointed but then just trying to find the next step towards selling these phones and 
since I was a small little company, I was able to make these decisions instantly. Uh, you just, I just meet with whoever, we discuss it, and we go for it. So, this is just to measure my electricity usage. But look at all these things. I'll have to make a longer video and show you guys everything in here. But the printing, look at the printing that was done on the boxes. All these different mobile phones, we had to print the boxes and write all these. This is, this is just a sleeve that goes over the box and it actually becomes the box where you where we packed these phones we written the manuals and so many things but yeah it's a long story getting through it and the girl that actually well, I bought those digital photo frames from and all those other little charges and things solar charges that's a solar charger that green one over there and yeah I actually told her you know what I would like to get those tests for the mobile phones then I will be able to sell it legally and she said that's no problem I'll go check for you and I thought what are you gonna go check and she came back the next day and she told me, you know what, those tests that you need, I've got them for you. I said, you're not serious. This is stuff that needs to be done in a Swiss company or something like that. And she said, but we've had it done. And she gave it to me for free. So I helped her out once and then she was able to give me all that stuff at no cost she was so glad to do it I got it for free people don't realize the power of for free the power of for free is limitless there is no limit you can get anything for free I can even get Enzo's sympathy for free or oh, not really sympathy I call it patience <laughs> I can get Diego's friendship for free <laughs> I don't think people realize what the power of for free is it's things that you cannot buy that just keeps on going. Now the dogs are going to make a huge noise over there. So <laughs> please excuse that. But the, that is something very special. And well, I submitted those tests. She sent it to me. I still had my laptop on here. And I received that through the internet. Took the whole night to download those files. Printed it, took it to the Independent Communication Authority of South Africa. They went through it, they checked every little thing, and they approved it. And I was able to sell those mobile phones and have my own legal brand of cell phones. There's very few people who can say that they've got that. So I know the steps to go through in order to do that. I've looked at those tests, I can remember those colors from the signal as you hold it against your head where the red and the blue and the green part starts because that is the safety part of the EMC they want to know how much radiation and emissions are coming from that mobile device now those are things people don't even know about I've gone through it I've done it and I've learned a lot of lessons. And the other day I took a phone. I had a great mobile phone a while ago. I still miss it. I'm not going to say the brand. <laughs> but I looked at it. And something told me in my mind. That could have been yours. But I didn't really need it to be I've moved on past that and I've learned a lesson from this all 
I've learned that I can have anything in the world for free. I just need to want it and go for it. Because that was a big step and something was preventing me from doing it for a while. I didn't know what it was that was preventing me. And then one day I realized we are not supposed to do everything in life. I could have had a lot of different stuff. Whatever I was putting my mind onto, I could have had it. So the mobile phones were just one little product. And it was great having it. I wasn't really one of those guys that's really into the technology. But the guys that is in the technology at the moment were youngsters when I already had my own brand of phone. I didn't make much money out of it. I'd say it was the wrong decision to do it. But what did I get out of it? I've got the power of for free out of it. And then you realize that there is nothing impossible in this world. If I could have that, I could have had so many other things. But do I really want it? I love having these cats. <laughs> they are amazing. And I've got them. Because this is what I want. So, yeah, that's just a little story about the mobile phones. And I probably have so much more. Well, if I'm back into this closet again, <laughs> there's so many. Look at this. These are all mobile phones that I tested back then. And I had them all here. Look at that. Worker's phone. Werker's phone. That was someone... As we were working here, we were using these phones. We needed... Well, I had about 10 people in here that all needed a phone. So, I saved just by doing that. But, these are all still as we were working back then. The chargers. This is a mobile charger. <laughs> So this was great. We really, really enjoyed it. And I learned a lot of lessons out of it. Getting the printing done. Look at this. This is a... With all the different specs. This is the specs from 10 years ago. <laughs> well guys, I think this is one of my longer videos. Uh, I can go into detail with this. Maybe I should one day. I just want to get one of the T190 pamphlets as well. Just look at this. This printing is still brand new. It's still shiny. And it's got two SIM cards. And this was the first touchscreen phones that ever existed in South Africa. Before touchscreens was available. And so I've done this. I've been through this. And I've learned one lesson out of it. It's not worth it. What? Why would I say that? It's not worth it. Going through all that stuff. Making sure everything is perfect. Trying to make sure that everything is legal. Getting your advertising done. Selling these phones just to have your name on it. It's not worth it. So I think a lot of people might feel inspired by this. And I don't want to burst your bubble. You, some of these people will be able to go and do all these things and get it done even better. But it's not for everybody. And it doesn't matter. You don't need to be the best at anything in your life. You don't always have to be the first choice. But you can learn from all of this. And you can grow into something that is priceless and where the limit of for free can never be changed. You have got the ability to go into any direction right now and right through to the end 
without paying one cent for it. And it will be priceless. I've got a lot of stories to tell. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I have to try and stop thinking because every day I'm thinking about a lot of stuff and then I stop thinking and I tell myself, you just wasted all that thought without recording it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. How can I even say that? Because I don't want to go through it again. I've gone through it and I remember all these things. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if I'm going to post this video. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I'm going to feed the tigers now. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. Say goodbye, Enzo. Say goodbye, Enzo. <laughs>